Next question, question 43. Consider the following statements in respect of five candidates P, Q, R, S and T. Two statements are true and one statement is false. True statement, one of P and Q were selected for the job. False statement, at least one of R and S were selected for the job. True statement, at most two of R, S, T were selected for the job. Which of the following conclusion can be drawn? Uh, one, at least four were selected for the job. Two, S was selected for the job. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So let's analyze the statements. There are three statements given. Two are true statements. One is false statements. And they are asking which of the conclusion can be drawn. So we will analyze the statements. Uh, first statement is a true statement uh, which says one of P and Q was selected for the job. So it says P or Q. Uh, one of P, o, uh, P and Q was selected for the job means either P was selected or Q was selected. Not both. Uh, so uh, P or Q that is the statement that we know. Second is second statement is a false statement at least one of R and S was selected for the job. How this statement can be false at least one of R and S was selected for the job can be false only if both R and S got uh, rejected. So if if at least one or both were selected this statement would have been true so here at least one of r and s was selected for the job is false only if r and s was both uh, rejected so this is what we get uh, this is the information we get uh, from this false statement so third statement is at most two of r s and t were selected so we already know r and s got rejected and now at most two of R, S and T were selected is given. So at the maximum two were selected is the given. So uh, since at most two of R, S and T were selected means uh, since R and S got rejected, T could be selected. T, T could have been selected, uh, but uh, uh, we, we are not sure. We cannot say for sure T got selected. Since at most means none could have been also selected. If none of these three were selected, then also at most two of R, S and T were selected for the job becomes true. So at most means at the maximum. You can read at, at the maximum here. At the maximum, two got selected from this. Uh, zero is also at, uh, within that at the maximum. So none could have also been selected. But T could have also been selected. That, that we don't know. We already know R and S got rejected. So we don't know anything from this. So this is the given statement. So we'll see what conclusion we can make out of all these three. Uh, at least four were selected for the job. One got selected out of P or Q that we know. And these two got rejected. And we are not sure about T also. So we cannot say at least four were selected for the job. That is a false statement that we cannot, uh, the, uh, not false statement that we cannot conclude from the given statements. Uh, we cannot conclude one from the given statements. Next, S was selected for the job. We clearly know S was not selected since it is a false statement. So at least one of R and S was selected is a false statement means uh, S was not selected. So S was selected for, the, we cannot conclude that S was selected for the job. So the correct answer is D, neither one or two. So solution to question 43 is D, neither one or two. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, so yeah, solution for question 43 is D.